everyone, my name is Rachel and I am an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Today we're going to be sharing a super fun tutorial about how to save, delete, and organize your projects in Design Space. There has been some new updates and things in the project category of Design Space, ways to organize them better in collections and things like that. So now we're going to teach you how to handle all of that, how to save a project, how to organize it, and if you have one and you've used it and you don't really need it, how to delete it. This is going to be a great Cricut Basics video for any Cricut beginner out there. If you are a Cricut beginner and you're looking for some amazing training and resources, we would love to welcome you to Oak and Lamb. Click that very first link down below to see how you can become a member of our flock today. And one thing we love to do at Oak and Lamb is make sure that you guys are comfortable with all of these tutorials in Design Space. We do not like to overwhelm you with anything. We feel like it's really easy to get overwhelmed, especially when you're learning something new like with your Cricut. It can be a little daunting. It can be a little complicated. And if we put too much in one video, it seems overcomplicated and difficult. So we like to create little videos of tidbits of information and training that are smaller and way more palatable for you guys. So this is going to be one of those today. We're going to learn how to save a project that you've created, how to organize some projects in collections, how to delete projects you already have. So it's going to be really great. So we're going to create a brand new project. We're going to click upload and upload one of our cut files here. Let's change this size and let's just say this is it. This is the project that we want to save. We want to save this size of this cut file. Now I will highly recommend you guys if you are actually creating something here in Design Space to save your progress in doing so. So to save your project the first time you're going to go up here and click save and you can go in here and name it. So I'm just going to do a uh, so file. That's what I'm going to name this one. And ignore this right here. These are the collections that we have, but I'm going to be sharing with you how to create your own collections, how to delete them, how to organize them and things. So we're not going to be adding this to a collection at this moment. So we're just going to click save. And what I mean by saving your progress is let's say we make this bigger, let's say we duplicate it, things like that. We're just trying to complicate this project that we've created. Now you will be able to do this um, yourself, of course. So whatever you would do to create your project, let's say you just continue to do so. You can click save and it'll say save as. So you can save it as like a new project or you can just click the save button up there and it will just kind of save the newest version of your project. Uh, Design Space does not have auto save so it's really helpful for you guys to make sure you save it as you go just in case something glitches or your internet goes out or the power goes out, something crazy like that happens, you will not have lost all of your uh, work. So try and save it periodically if you're creating a particularly long and lengthy project. So now we're going to go access our projects. You can do that either here or from the home screen. You can do it both the exact same way and that's going up here and clicking my project. So we're going to click my projects and you can see right here is all the projects that we have. We have our collections over here. Um, so let's make a new collection for you guys to share with you how to do that. So you're going to go over here and click new and you can name your collection. Let's just do live projects. That's something we use a lot. And now we have live projects, Rachel's projects and Becca's projects. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click live projects and there's nothing in there. We're gonna go to Rachel's projects. There's nothing in there. So here's how you add projects to collections. You're gonna go back up to all projects. Now, let's say we're going to add a project to live projects. We're going to go and find one that was made during a live, this Santa tray was, and we're going to click these three dots on the top right of the project and click edit collections. And you can see selected is Becca's projects. We're going to also add this to live projects and you can unmark it from Becca's projects if you wanted to do that to make it just in live projects, anything like that. From this page as well, you could create a new collection, whatever you want to do. Now we're going to click done and this will always be in all projects. But now if we go to live projects, it will be the only one there. So that is a great way 
to organize these. Now you can organize these by type of craft you do. So you could have a sewing collection, an embroidery collection, you could have a resin collection, things like that. Whatever you feel is most helpful to create collections. So now let's say I want to delete a collection with some projects in it. You do not have to worry about the project being gone forever because they, all of your projects will always be in all my projects, which is what we're at right now. So even if we go and we delete this live projects, see it says the projects in this collection will still be available in all my projects and other collections that include them. So you're only deleting this collection and these projects from the one collection. So you can just click remove and nothing changes here. Now you, I've showed you how to add these, how to add cut files and projects to the collections. Now I'll share with you how to erase projects. I've showed you how to erase collections. You'll go up here, click the three dots and delete project. It'll say, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Same thing. If you don't need one, delete. Yes, I'm sure. And it's gone. So this is just a great way to organize these. Um, this one was my project. So again, let's just go ahead and put this into my folder. Becca has some projects. I don't have any. So let's go ahead and click those three dots, edit collections. It's in no folders. You can see it's selected. It's in no collections. So I'm going to click Rachel's and click done. And now it'll be over there in mine. Same thing. I mean, you could just do that over and over. If you see one down here and you're like, oh, you know, we don't need this. Delete it just like that. So this is a really great way. You want to do this periodically. It's so easy to add projects you know that you create and not add them to any collections not erase them when you're done with it you will have an overwhelming amount of things cluttering up your Cricut design space in no time so do think about that keep them organized in your projects um, keep your projects organized in your collections we love to keep things nice and organized so this is a fantastic way to do that uh, add as many collections as you want it really makes it super easy to go in and know what's yours or know which you know, which category you need to check in. It's really nice. So that is how you would save a project. That's how you would delete collections, delete projects, things like that. Now, if you were to go up to new and click upload, let's just add another one of these here. You could click save. Let's make this a bit smaller here. And now you would just do so file and now you can as you're saving them for the first time add them to different collections you can add them to all the collections whatever you want to do um so yeah that is a super easy way to organize your design space as a professional craft educator nothing warms my heart more than keeping things nice and neat and organized i hope that you all learned a ton in this amazing design space video today if you did leave us a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed this video also, if you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more amazing videos like this. Make sure to ring that bell so you can get notified when amazing videos come out. We would love to welcome you as a member of the flock. So definitely check out that very first link below to see how you can do that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.